What a lovely location to kick off today's video here from Japan. And I am in Japan with a special reason. Actually, two special reasons. So the first and most obvious reason is the time of the year. I've been traveling to Japan for more than nine years now and I've always traveled to Japan during winter time or during autumn. In the winter time we have the All Japan Koi Show in Tokyo and of course the winter season here in Niigata and in autumn time it's more an entertaining time with all the koi harvests and all the people and dealers from all over the world who came come here to Yamakoshi Niigata to buy their koi and to see their koi the results after a growing season in the mud ponds. So the second reason is for me personally the most exciting reason and that reason is that I've quit my full-time job to do everything with koi. I started in 2012 with keeping koi and starting with my first koi related business and today I want to tell you my personal story my journey till today and I want to tell you a bit more about my future plans so my family and friends know that I've been doing everything with koi beside my full-time job and sometimes yes it was very hard people think it's easy to just start a YouTube channel go to Japan make videos and think everything will go like it should go but uh, to be honest, editing, creating, recording videos, uh, making connections within our koi world isn't that easy. In fact, it's pretty hard to do. I always did it with so much love and my dream was to do this full time, to do koi on YouTube full time and to do so much more stuff because I have so much great ideas. So let me take you back to the first moment that I started with this hobby. So in 2012, I was still studying at high school. And in my second year, I had to start my own business and I didn't have any clue what to do. So I still remember that I was sitting, it was a warm summer night. <laughs> it's kind of poetic. It was a warm summer night. I was sitting with my former father-in-law at his pond and he had some fish in his pond and there were koi carps, of course. And I still remember that he asked me if I was able to pick up some koi food at the local shop because the food was empty. And I still remember it was around six o'clock in the evening. It was around 26 degrees, sun was out and we had to start a barbecue. The first thing I did was checking on my mobile phone if there was a website to order koi food because I didn't want to go out and uh, miss the sun and miss the barbecue. So I told my former father-in-law, oh, well, let me check on the internet. You will have the koi food tomorrow morning. But unfortunately, I couldn't find a proper website on the internet that was selling koi food. So I had to go to the local shop and I found it out that the koi food was really expensive. And that was the moment that everything got my attention. I started my first website. It was a web shop called Koi Food Shop, just a Dutch web shop, but I was selling koi food. So I started to build my own website and later on uh, I got my first orders and that was something amazing. A really, really, really great feeling. So let me tell you a bit, just a small piece of my future plans. What I really would like to do is start some grow out or mud pond projects with some breeders here in Japan. And I'm not going to do that by myself. I'm going to do that with my partners. My partners in the United States, my partners in Europe, for example, in Holland, Belgium and Germany. So, hello. <laughs> Breeders are passing by, so I have to say hi <laughs> every single time. So I'm here to speak with the breeders about the projects that I want to do, the ideas that I have. I want to do some grow out projects uh, and I'm going to do that together with you, my viewer, but also with my partners. Most of the people know that I don't have a shop back in Holland. So doing quarantine and doing the shipping and all the paperwork is not able for me. So I will do that in cooperation with the partners of my channel. For example, for the United States, we have Hunter. And at the moment, I'm talking with a good friend of mine. He knows who he is for the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany. So if you are 
a koi dealer in Europe or in other place of the world and you are interested, just send me a message. I'm not gonna accept it directly because I only work together with people that I like and who I can trust. And that last one is probably the most important one. The reason why I'm doing that is because I get so many questions of the viewers like you about if they can buy koi, if I can select their koi. After 10 years, I'm thinking that I'm ready to do that. So I'm here in Japan to speak with the readers about that. But I want to make one thing very clear, and that is that my main focus will be creating videos and everything that has to do with it. So one of my dreams is to start that project and follow small koi like Tosai and let them grow here in Japan and see them grow and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is one of my dreams. I want to share that with my viewers. I want to create a community to buy some small tosai together with the partners and just see them growing up and document everything from the start from when they are just like this 10 cm till they probably are 80 cm that is something that i'm going to work on in the next coming weeks months and years and i want to thank off all the people who are watching my videos so I want to end this video with thanking you for watching all of my videos. And if you're not subscribed, it's okay, but I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. You will support me with that and of course watching my videos. If you want to support me, you can support me also on Patreon or become a member of my channel. You will get some extra content, uh, not so much, but it's just for the support. Thank you so much also for the members and the Patreons that are following me for quite a while now. But I also want to thank the breeders in the last 10 years. They helped me a lot with sending content during the Corona period. For example, the Tarazo Koi Farm, Shintaro Koi Farm, Yagenji. And don't get me wrong, I don't, I hope, miss anyone. But I'm very happy they've helped me out with sending the content during the hard times when we're not able to travel to Japan because of the situation. And I'm very happy that I'm able to be here. And um, that is something really uh, important. That's really important for me. And last but not least, I really want to thank Oase and Select Koi for their support on my channel <coughs> and their trust. Without them, I wasn't able to quit my job as a police officer in Amsterdam, in Holland, and doing and following my biggest dream, filming Koi, maybe selling Koi, doing grow out projects, getting some great products together with Oase. Those are my dreams and I hope they will come true one day, but I really believe in that. And one of the most important things, guys, is to just follow your dreams. You can really do it. For me, it's a very, very big step to quit my full-time job. I have to take care of my son, I have to take care of myself and my bills but now I'm able to do what I've dreamed of and this is my chance to do everything that I really like and I'm so excited about that so guys thank you so much I'm going to one of the breeders right now and going to make more daily episodes for you um, just subscribe on the channel leave me a comment and I hope you've know me a bit more now I've told you a small part of my personal life